Bill. Oh shit. Oh shit. Here we go, boy. Bill, I just don't think Marcus is out here. I mean, I done saw his horse take one right to the side. I reckon he got picked off by the marshal and his men. Now, we was told to check, so we're checking. I don't care if he's alive, I don't care if he's dead. That matters to me none. We'll be heading back soon. You hear that? Over there, past the ridge. You saved my life. Why'd you do that? White man help. What is <laughs> White man give. Marcus, what's, what's your name? What's your name? Basco. Frida. Thank you both. Thank you both. Well, I must be going. Oh. Let's go. It's been a pleasure. There you go. 
over there. <laughs> well, now, what have we got here? Well, it looks like we might get something out of this trip after all. What you thinking, Bill? Morning. Fine day, ain't it? Now it seems you're crossing the bowler gang territory. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But you gotta pay a tax to cross. Do that, you and yours are free to go about your business. Don't make this difficult now. Bill! Marcus? Bill, what the hell have you done? You did make it out. Bill, these people ain't do nothing to you. You done killed them both in cold blood. My brother's dead because of them. Your brother's dead because of you, Bill. You had to stick your nose in their business, I know it. The only reason I'm out here in the first place is because I was looking for your ass. And now I find out that this whole time, you've been traipsing out in the desert. Now you made some mistakes today. I wouldn't go making another one if I was you. Well, the first mistake I made today was looking for you in the first place. You know, say I go back and I tell them I did find you. Half dead. And on the way back to camp, we get jumped by a couple of Apaches. They shoot my brother dead, then you, and I somehow slip off alive. Tell me, Marcus, sound like a good story to you? Good story, Bill.